Hey guys, so you have been requesting a henna video since I uploaded the last one, which was almost a year ago. So this is my updated henna routine, and this is a new recipe. All I do is I add in sugar in addition to the lemon juice. So what this does is it makes my henna mixture very flexible, so that when I apply it, not only does it stick better and not flake off, it eliminates having to use that sugar lemon juice mixture. Now if you guys head over to my Insta stories or Snapchat, then you will be able to see a video of how well the pace holds up so I periodically check the consistency by making ribbons even though I failed to show you guys in this video I do also still add tea tree oil to my mixture I added after dye release right before I'm ready to cone and what it does is it adds terps it's a solvent that helps dye release so it allows you to penetrate the skin with much more dye and get a dark rich stain Another change in my routine is instead of going the cheap route, I actually buy cellophane and cut that to make my henna cones. So that's it guys, this is the application. Please excuse the messiness. Unfortunately, I wasn't filming in an ideal position so I wasn't able to hit all of the angles that I'm used to. You guys want to leave this paste on your skin as long as possible. Now the purpose of keeping the paste on is that the longer it stays, the more dye molecule your skin can absorb, which is going to give you the darkest, richest stain, and it's also going to last the longest. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, of course, just comment below and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure that you do because I'm going to be uploading a holographic tutorial later on this week. Bye.